Good morning, ESM. I'm Elena. I hope you all had an awesome weekend. I know I enjoyed watching the musical. Everyone did a great job. Starting Monday off with a bang, today is Pi Day, and Jaden is here to recite Pi for us. 3.145926. Three people were te temporarily displaced from their home by a fire Sunday night. Someone called the Onondaga County 911 Center at 8.07 p.m. to report the fire at 407 Bailey Road. The caller told dispatchers the grease fire that started to spread across the second floor. About 20 volunteer firefighters from Mattydale, North Syracuse, Liverpool and Moyers Corner and Onondaga County Sheriff's deputies responded to the scene. Emergency crews quickly blocked a portion of Bailey Road. Firefighters were able to extinguish the fire in about 15 minutes. No injuries, no one was injured in the fire. It was recently decided that Mayor Ben Walsh isn't allowed to remove the downtown Christopher Columbus statue. Judge Jared Nari ordered that Walsh leave the statue where it is. Many supporters wanted the statue removed because of the criticism that Columbus contributed to slavery and oppression. Judge Nari responded to Walsh's decision saying, the city has no legal right to alter the piece of art known as the Christopher Columbus Monument or remove same or any part of it from its present place on St. Mary's Circle, commonly known as Columbus Circle in the city of Syracuse. On Sunday, the first St. Patrick's Day Parade in two years began from Clinton Square. This year, the parade was billed as the 40th anniversary of the parade, but the cancellations because of COVID actually made it the 2022 of the 38th official running of the parade. Despite the grim weather forecast, the, organi the organiza organizers never thought to postpone the parade. Hundreds of people braved the cold and snowy conditions, clutched onto their green beads as they watched. We stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Girls interested in doing spring track, there is a meeting this Tuesday in the Hall of Fame at 3.30. Are you interested in a career in education? Come to the first Take a Look at Teaching Club meeting on Wednesday, March 16th after school in the small cafeteria. Refreshments will be served. Okay, so back to pi day. Pi comes from the Greek letter and it measures the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. Pi has been calculated to 31 trillion digits and the short version is 3.14159. And since pi is irrational, it's never ending. Also irrational, Jaden? 5358979323846264338327950288 So today is Pi Day. It was founded by physicist physicist Larry Shaw and the longest pi recital was 10 hours and 70,000 digits of pi were read. Let's head over to weather. So today, as you can see, we're going to have some clear skies, so there's not going to be really anything happening among us. And on to our temperatures. Today we'll have a high of 51 and a low of 36 starting off the week. Very warm. Tuesday is going to drop down and be a bit colder with a high of 44 and a low of 34 with some snow in higher elevation areas. And Wednesday through Friday will be in the low to mid 50s and up to 65 on St. Patrick's Day. With that, I'm Grayson with your weather. Okay, so I'd like to welcome Miss Miniga onto the show. Thank you. And we have some, uh, besides Pi Day, we have some news. You want to let them know what the news is? 
Uh, so there's a contest on 93Q. It's called the Meow Madness, and uh, my cat is number eight. Mm -hmm. and, uh, somebody yeah. else's cat's on there, too. I'm on, yep, I'm number seven. There's that, Ismitica's cat. That's Rosie. And there's Enzo in his little sweater. And you guys can go vote if you go to 93Q.com, and then you see Meow Madness, you scroll down, and you can vote. But you can do it uh, multiple times on different devices, and uh, the best cat wins a Country Max gift card. Yep. And bragging rights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. We got a competition going. We're trying to beat out the top cat. And I think I have high hopes. I think we're going to. We, we we're just have it. to take over Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yeah. There, there's nothing special about Cinnamon. But Rosie, number eight, she's coming for you. <laughs> yeah, we need your guys' vote. So if you guys can help, just go on right now, pull your phones out, and go to 93Q.com. You can look for my QR codes around the D-Wing. That's nice and easy for you. And with that, we're going to take it over to sports. Placed seventh in the country at the Nike National Meet in the 60 meter hurdles with the time of 8.11 seconds. After 40 days of retirement, Tom Brady calls. After 40 years of retirement, Tom Brady calls off his retirement and says he still has things he wants to accomplish. And I'm Nolan with sports. Well, ESM, I hope you have a great Monday, and remember to enjoy Pi Day. Also, remember to vote, 93Q.com, and go vote. For me and everyone else here at the morning show, have a great day. 9399 375